On assignment, we sometimes find out about remarkable things we never knew existed. That's what happened to Scott Thuman and crew on a recent trip to Trinidad and Tobago. They came across an amazing natural wonder that you may have encountered yourself without even knowing it. At first glance, you're not really sure what you're even seeing. It looks like an unfinished parking lot, about 100 acres and mostly barren, minus a stray dog and the occasional tour group. Though what we're walking on, locals boast, is the eighth wonder of the world. Called Pitch Lake, this semi-hardened pool of asphalt is the largest of its kind on the planet. It's still a natural wonder because nowhere in the world they will find pitch in a solid state. And, and nowhere other way in the world they could find a pitch lake that you could walk on it and show people some of the artifacts. The bits that bubble up from beneath are fascinating, from trees dating back thousands of years to a giant sloth's rib and a mastodon's tooth. But the tar, emitting gas you can actually light on fire, and texture like memory foam is the real spectacle here. Well, there's kind of a spongy feel to the surface when you're walking on it, only a few inches down is where you realize how everything is basically liquid with a pungent, noticeable odor. In 1595, natives showed British explorer Sir Walter Raleigh Pitch Lake while on his search for El Dorado, the city of gold. Using the sticky substance to caulk leaks on his ship, the moment was immortalized later on a postage stamp. The fame was followed by industry. But they'll take this, they'll eventually, they'll heat this up. This will boil down, and as they boil it for 18 hours and it comes to a molten substance, then it is strained to extract things like this. So then they're getting out these pieces of wood like this. Yes. Like bits of tree. And brought up as fast as they can churn it out. Over the years, some 10 million tons. China, Germany, and Brazil, top customers. How much money do they make every year out of That's selling? That's a good question. I can't really answer that one. <laughs> it's likely a lot. The pitch is about 250 feet deep and seems almost endless. It's been spread from the Lincoln Tunnel to LaGuardia's tarmac, some of Washington, D.C.'s first roads, and the one leading to London's Buckingham Palace. Tell me what you think of this place. It's fantastic. Um, I have come here four times. The place is so calm, the water is nice. Do we think it's fascinating that some of this ends up in Washington? It is like, a, like blessing a blessing that we can bless other countries with our natural resources that we have right here in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now some of the roads right leading up to this could use it, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Why are you sending it all to us? You need it on the road right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're hardly worried. This obscure, lesser-known spot on the map won't dry up anytime soon. Scientists say it should keep on paving the world's highways for another 400 years. For Full Measure, I'm Scott Thuman in Trinidad. Looking for gold and finding something maybe almost as valuable. We're back with a look at what's ahead next week, right after this.